Just like every coin has two sides, private limited company has its own disadvantages and with proper information, you can navigate your way through them all. In this video, I will discuss those disadvantages. Before I start, let me first introduce myself. I am Tushar Bakshi, a startup advisor at Set India Biz where we provide incorporation services to hundreds of companies every single month and help startups and small businesses to grow with our extremely affordable legal compliance services. But first, let me quickly tell you what a private limited company is. So, a private limited company is a company that is registered under the Companies Act 2013. The word private, as simple as it is, means that the shares of a private company cannot be sold to the general public and also not on any public platforms. The word limited conveys that the shareholders enjoy limited liability which means that their liability will be as per their unpaid share capital. If you wish to know more about private limited company, please check the description where I have given a link to another video dealing in detail with private limited company incorporation, registration, benefits and much more. Private limited companies are popular choices of a lot of entrepreneurs today, but it has its disadvantages like any other company. A private limited company cannot issue shares to the public at large, nor can it freely trade its shares on public platforms like stock exchange markets. The maximum number of shareholders in a private limited company can only be extended up to 200. In case you wish to avail of the benefits of the public issue, then you should incorporate your business as a public limited company or convert your existing business as a public limited company. Check the description box for public limited company. Now, the disadvantages of private limited companies. Although most startups choose to incorporate as a private limited company with all the benefits available, it still has a handful of disadvantages that entrepreneurs should know. I will discuss all the disadvantages of a private limited company so that you can make an informed decision while opting for it as a business structure. Starting with number one, public disclosure of company data on MCA. The details of a company are available for public access and can be viewed on the website of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. On payment of a nominal fee, any person can obtain copies of the records of a company from the MCA. Every year, a company is required to file an annual return after its AGM. The forms, along with the attachments such as balance sheet, etc., submitted at the time of filing the annual return are also available for public view. The data of a private limited company, thus, can be used by competitors. Though in a way, we can say that this is not a disadvantage because stakeholders can very well verify the genuineness of a company. Number two, increased cost of legal compliance. Every company is required to get its book audited at the end of the financial year and file ROC returns after holding the annual general meeting of the company. For the companies which are doing good business and growing, the audit and statutory disclosures are in a way useful to protect the interest of the shareholders of the company. However, where the number of transactions is meager and in some cases where the company is in losses, the legal cost of compliances is high if you compare it with an LLP form of business. Hence, where the scale of operations is going to be less, then one can opt registering an LLP. Number three, limited control of owners. The concept of a company involves investment by several persons in the company and with the dilution of the stake, the control of the company also weakens as other will also have a proportional say in the decision making. Though most of the decisions of the company can be taken by a single majority vote in the shareholders meeting. However, for certain critical decisions, a special resolution is required. For passing a special resolution, consent of 75% or more is needed. Number four, issue of share transfer only among existing shareholders. 
a private limited company is a closed group of people and so the entry of outsiders is restricted the new issue of shares needs to be offered first to the existing shareholders before selling to outside investors similarly for the transfer of shares to any third party the consent of the board of directors is required everything has its own disadvantages and advantages registration of a private limited company is the same now that you have understood about the disadvantages of a private limited company you can make an informed decisions over the choice of the type of non profit entity you wish to establish depending on the goals and objectives of your business set india biz is an organized team of ca cs and lawyers duly supported by trained accountants and paralegals our team of startup advisors are available to assist you with your queries if you found this video helpful and want to know more you can check our website also do subscribe to our channel set india bills and let us help you get your dreams together check out our other videos as well